Good morning, everybody. Dave Schmidt along with Matt Nestor and producer Tom Warner. We're going to shift gears. We're going to go out to a nice uh, sport that we all kind of like in this uh, studio today, ice hockey. And we have a new boys team that will be competing next year in uh, hockey in the high school level. And uh, with us right now, we have the president of the Belvedere Hockey Club. I think that's what the official name is, Stacy McGowan. She's had a busy week. And Stacy, uh, thanks for coming on today and getting up so early for us on a holiday weekend. No problem. Glad to be here. Let's talk about the Belvedere Fury. And before we get started, tell us how you picked the Fury name out. I love it. I read over that, and I just think it's a great way of choosing a uh, team's uh, mascot. Well, you know, we did a lot of research about Belvedere. We wanted to include the Belvedere history into our logo and our team name. And Fury was the first car that came off the Chrysler line when Chrysler, when the Chrysler plant opened. So that's how we chose the name. You know, where did the motivation come for, for this, for starting a team? You know, what, where was, because how did all this come together? Well, my son will be a sophomore in high school, and he has played hockey all his life. And he's played, come up through the Rockford Hockey Club. And once you reach Bantam level or the high school level, after Bantam level, um, you're done. Because we can't play Iceman. Iceman can only pull from certain schools. And so, you know, every kid comes up through Rockford and dreams of being an Iceman player. And unfortunately, unless you go to certain schools, you're done. Well, last year, Belvedere opened the outdoor ice rink. And when that happened, he came to me and he said, Mom, we've got ice now. Now can we have a high school team? And so I got on the phone with the Amateur Hockey Association of Illinois, AHI, and started asking some questions and doing some digging. And sure enough, they said, absolutely, we'd love to have you on as a team. The more teams, the merrier, the better it is for our kids. And they're pretty excited about the outdoor arena, too, aren't they, in Belvedere, the... uh a, uh, a high. They are excited about it. You know, it's an opportunity for the teams to come and play outdoor. We they love the fact that we've got lights. If you go on the websites of uh, the teams that we play, the, the game that they highlight the most is their outdoor game. So they're excited about it. You know, obviously the the schools that you're pulling from are all close to each other. You know, all have that in common. But I guess how did that kind of come about deciding which schools that you wanted to pull players from? Well, we wanted to keep it close to the community and and close to the the communities that the Belvedere Park District would be marketing to as well because we're partnering with uh, the Belvedere Park District. Um, But we also had to look at what schools actually had hockey players currently and which schools had a base of hockey players that would be coming up in the system so to keep the program alive. Um, so we worked with AHI and worked with the registrar there, had them pull numbers um, for birth years to see where the hockey players were. Um, so that's how we knew. And let me tell you, you know, we've got hockey players now, but those numbers coming up, with those eighth graders and seventh graders, we have a lot of hockey players coming up. So, uh, basically, you kind of had some contact with the Iceman then, right? Because some of those players have gone through their lower programs. Will you be having lower programs as well in the future? Uh, we won't, personally. Um, I know our park district puts on some, you know, be- very, very basic beginning skate programs. But their programs are very limited because our ice time is very limited. We only have ice December, January, February. So we will never have, I don't think, the programs like the Rockford Hockey Club has um, at that level of play. So we'll always want our kids, you know, we'll always partnership with Rockford Hockey Club um, because we need our kids to have that elite level of play. You know, it's got to be exciting for the the kids, though, to to know that there's not going to be an end now. You know, you mentioned about how they get to a certain level and it's done. It's got to be exciting for them to have something to to work for now to, to see something in the future. Right, and that's what we're hoping that, you know, the, the younger kids in the area, they'll come out to the games and that they'll see that there is something else that they can go to, that they can come out to a high school level and, in a way, represent their own high schools. Um, Dr. Wiesman, the superintendent of Belvedere High Schools, he's behind this 100%, as is Dr. Greenlee, the North Boone uh, superintendent, you know, they're so excited about this and about this opportunity. 
Um, and, and they want these kids to be able to be recognized at the high school level. So that's, that's really exciting to have that support behind us. And I know last year the Ice Hogs came over after it was open and, and practiced a the schedule there. That had to give it a lot of credibility as well that they took time to come over and do that and show off the facility. That does give it a lot of credibility. So we're hoping maybe they'll come over and practice and maybe we can uh, scrimmage them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, the, the Icemen have been a successful program and, and you know, some of your players have come up through that program. Does that give you guys the the thought that maybe you can come out and kind of compete even in a first year? Gosh, you know, we sure hope so. Um, we, we certainly don't have as many of the high caliber level of players as the Icemen do. Um, but hockey is one of those things where, gosh, two months in, you can turn a kid around really, really quick. They can pick it up very quickly. Um, so we will probably, they'll probably tier us pretty low on the totem pole in the North Central League, but we may come out and surprise them. You know, you look at it, they're in the Scholastic Hockey League, the Iceman, you're in the North Central. Tell us the kind of the basic difference between the two uh, conferences. And the conference really is just kind of where we are, and for some reason they ended up placing us in North Central League. Um, you know, I'm not even really sure what their rationale was for doing that, um, but it's going to work out really great. The, the president of the North Central League, um, Robert Wagner, he's a really great guy. He's been working with me since day one, giving me a lot of advice, a lot of help. Um, I, I really appreciate all that he's done for us. So I'm very excited to, to work with these guys. Being in that league, who are some of the uh, the teams that you'll end up playing? We'll end up playing some pretty big teams. Um, New Trier, uh, Buffalo Grove, Wheeling, Hershey, that's one team. Um, the Connett, uh, Hoffman Estates, mm-hmm. Schomburg, they're a combined team. So they're a real mixture of combined teams as well as peer teams. So there's about 23 teams in that North Central League, and we'll rotate through and play um, almost all of those teams. We're talking with Stacy McGowan, the uh, head of the Belvedere Hockey Club. Let's tell you know one person can't do this by themselves because there's a lot of stuff going on. Can you tell us about some other people that have really pitched in and helped out so far, Stacy? Sure. Um, so as soon as Patrick, my son, asked me about this, you know, I said, "Fine, but you're helping." Uh, then I contacted Carrie Bronner, who Patrick had been work. You know, we played hockey with her son for many years, and she was completely on board. Yep, I'll help you out. And then also her son, Jacob Bronner, who be he will be in Belvedere High School, same age, so he'll be a sophomore. And really, the four of us were kind of the key players for a long time. Um, about two months ago, we put together a little bit of a board, and so we've had some extra help. Um, Alyssa Lasselberg, she's from Sycamore. Her son, Wyatt, will be a junior. And she's really been helping us, um, picking up a lot of the help with the, around the um, PR and getting T-shirts made. She's actually going to end up being our ice scheduler. Um, Dave Kratz in the area, as well as his wife, Amy, uh, they're going to be on the board. They've been a big help lately as well. So, you know, it really has become... Um, much bigger endeavor, and it's great to have a board and have that help to get this off the, off the ground. Do we have a coach in place yet? Yes. His name is Brian Luca. Um, he's actually a Belvedere High School teacher. Uh, he is coached over at the Rockford level, Rockford Hockey Club, and most recently coached over at Crystal Lake Yellow Jackets. Um, coached four years over there. He played uh, down at NIU and was fortunate enough they won two championships while he was playing. So he said that it's always been a dream of his to be a high school teacher and to coach a hockey team. And who knew Belvedere would ever have a hockey team? So he feels like, you know, all the stars have aligned and he's really getting all of his dreams to come true. So he's very, very excited. And I see you have a parent-player meeting scheduled for July 13th with all the details on the website. And uh, let me see, I got that right there, too. Uh, yeah. Fury High School, well, that's the email. 
uh, FuryHockey.org, right, is where that's at? So Correct. If, if kids and the parents want to find out uh, what's going on, but can you briefly give us an idea of what that meeting is going to be about on the 13th? The 13th meeting will be really the registration and jersey order form. Um, if parents want to contact us before to go ahead and order jerseys, they're more than welcome to because number assignment is going to be on a first-come, first-served basis. Kids are going to buy their jerseys, so they'll have these jerseys the rest of their career at Fury Hockey. So but so the last day for jersey orders will be July 13th, and then we're going to have a parent uh, meeting. That will go over evaluations and, you know, what we expect for. We'll have a forms and paperwork that, that we'll need to have filled out at that time, medical releases, that sort of, you know, fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, are there enough? players for tryouts and those kind of things or right now is it just taking everybody who wants to play um well we will definitely take everyone who wants to play you know if, if from those elite players to you know just interested in hockey because uh, we strongly feel that we will be able to coach those players especially if they're if they're freshmen we'll be able to coach that player so by the time they're really even by the next year could be even six months that player will be able to play on the ice and they'll be a great player. By the time they're a senior, you never know. They could be the number one player in that position in the state. You just don't know how kids are going to develop. So we want to take everyone. We do feel we've got enough um, at this point to make a strong team. So we'll definitely have one team this year. And then we hope that we'll be able to grow the program. We hope we'll have two, ne- two teams by next year and you know maybe just keep growing it. And they can get a hold of you at FuryHighSchoolHockey at gmail.com. We'll put all that information on our website after we uh, post the interview today. But you've got to be kind of excited getting this really moving forward, don't you, Stacy? Oh, so excited. We started this, you know, last winter. So for it to finally come to fruition, it's kind of a, a big relief. And, uh, but yet, <laughs> you know, now, now that it's, it's come to fruition, we've, got a lot more paperwork to do. It seems like every time you get one step done, they give you 10 more pieces of paperwork. But it's so worth it. It'll be so worth it that first day we step on the ice and we actually have a full team and we're ready to go. And they can uh, look at furyhockey.org, find out all the information about that. And one last question before we let you go. Have you uh, planned on playing the Iceman or is that something maybe down the road? Uh, We won't play them in league tournament play, but you know what? We'd love to scrimmage them, so hopefully we'll be able to set that, that up. Hey, thanks so much, Stacy, and uh, we appreciate it, all of it, and we'll keep an eye on the Fury, and uh, we'll get, keep in contact, too, okay? Great. Thanks for having us. You bet. We've been talking to Stacy McGowan, who's the head of the uh, Belvedere Hockey Club. Sounds like a lot of fun, but a lot of work. A, a lot of work going into it. I know she kind of touched on it there. I can't imagine how, uh, uh-uh. how excited it'll be that first game when the puck drops, just to see all that hard work that you've put in and those kind of things, you know, come to fruition and, and actually, you know, be in front of you. I, I think it's awesome. You know, it's great to see a program started, giving some kids some opportunities, you, you know. And, you know, like she said, I mean, for some of those kids that come up, you know, it just it ends at a certain point. Now it doesn't have to end. You know, they, they can keep playing now and, and have something to keep working for. Uh, you know, and, and you might get more kids to stick with the program, too. You know, there, there might be some kids that, that drop out at some point because they knew, well, when I get to high school, I can't play anyway, so I'm going to concentrate more on this sport or that sport. So you might get more kids sticking with it, too. So I, I think it's a great thing. And the uh, success of the Blackhawks recently and the yeah. Ice Hogs, I'm sure has a lot to do with all this. So it's, it's starting to become a hockey community right now. It, it really is. And I think you're absolutely right. You know, when you see the success the Blackhawks have had, the, the tie-in that they have with the Ice Hogs, and especially, you know, some of the players that we've seen go up there and, and play key roles for them as they've won championships that we've seen here in town previously. I, yeah, I think it absolutely just makes this uh, more of a hockey community. And I think that's why you're seeing some of these things like this where, where it's really increasing in popularity. And I tell you what, if they can uh, grow the program here in the first couple of years and, and have at least some, some level of success, boy, I think you could really see the program take off. We're going to take a time out. And we'll be back with more of the State Line Sports Hour in just a moment here on News Talk 1440 WROK.